This is the king, literally the king of all snakes, and uh, this is the king cobra. And here at Pets of Plenty, they have a nine-footer, and it's a female, right? Yes. And uh, is the female get to be the largest in the cobra? They get a little larger. A little larger than males. This is the maximum snake in the world. The most, the lar the longest venomous snake in the world is the king cobra, living in India. And this one is fully equipped. This is an amazing, amazing snake, and uh, it's a little bit intimidating to have one stare right at me. But these guys. Um, you know, know, know the body language. And how much of handling a snake like this is knowing the body language? A lot of it is knowing the body language. Any animal can react unpredictably, but mm -hmm. if you know its normal posturing and normal movements, you can somewhat predict where the animal's going to go and how to react to prevent a bite. Now, I've heard the king cobra is an intelligent snake. Tell us about that. That makes them twice as dangerous. When you've got a venomous animal and an intelligent animal, you've got twice the danger, and they are extremely intelligent as far as reptiles go. What have you noticed in terms of their intelligence? Uh, she's always aware of everything that's going on around her enclosure. Anytime Andy will be working with her, mm -hmm. she is at no time unaware of where he is or what he's doing, and we have to watch twice as much that way. A lot of snakes will, in fear, will back off and hide. She thinks and... Uh, is it's scary the intelligence well you think about a snake like this in one of the most populated places in the world in india for one to get maximum size they probably have to have an intelligence to evade man yeah and they live in the villages very closely with the people over there so uh which it, it, the intelligence i think helps with that because they can interpret a threat as far as well as uh, a safety factor and they live around the villages eating the rodents and stuff that would normally get into their grain, mm -hmm. uh, they will find them in their homes with them. And from what I know, that the, the king cobra has a lot less bites than the other kind of cobras yes. over there. Yes. And I guess that has to do with their intelligence and learning, I guess, through uh, just selective uh, type of breeding and things like that to know that, uh, you know, that the ones that get around people and get nasty get killed. Yes. The, you know. Like Andy said earlier, they don't want to waste their venom. And these guys are smart enough to know when something's a threat versus a food item.